Hi, George here. And today we're going to be taking this photograph in the middle and combining it with this picture over here on the right hand side and give us a new picture over here, left hand side. Easy, straightforward project. Let's just go ahead and get to this. This will be our base image right there. And then I'll take this picture here. I'm just going to drag this layer over here, drop it in. There we go and get rid of that. We now have both pictures inside of this one project. I'm going to bring the opacity down on this top layer here. We can now see that. Let's just see how that fits. And it fits pretty well just as is without any real change to it. I'll put that right there and bring our opacity back up again. Now notice that the sky doesn't go clear to the top of the picture up here. And that's easy to fix. Go over to the left side over here, grab the rectangular marquee tool, and I'll make a selection right around the sky, right in there. Use the Control T keyboard shortcut. That gives us our transform handles. Then just grab the top and just drag it up like that. We've now stretched that top part to fit. Okay, Control D to deselect. Let's now come down to our background layer. Right click where it says background and duplicate that layer. Choose OK. And then take the duplicate and just drag it up here to the top of the layer set. Let's now remove the background from this picture. And for this, I'll just use the subject select real fast and easy. Select, subject. And this is in the newer versions of Photoshop Elements. Now you may see this in two different ways. This one is showing it as a selection. You might also see this as a mask. It works in both ways. I kind of like the selection setting. This also puts you down here with the selection brush. And with the selection brush, you can come in here and you can expand your selection, just brush into it. Right here, I'll just grab this leg. I'm being real careful along that edge. Just take your time. Works that way. We can always fix any little mistakes later on. This bit right here, I'll just tap on that and get that little bit here and on the ankle right down there. Everything else looks good except for right in here, we see a bit of the original background showing through. Let's move over here to the Move tool and I'll scroll in a little bit and see that, miss that background there. Let's see if we can expand that a bit. It's not that critical. It's very close to the sky color. We'll go ahead, we'll try to expand it anyway. Let's go back to our selection tools, hit refine edge. Here's our refine edge tool. You can see there is the size of that tool. Let's come down here to where it says size and just back it off just a bit. You know, about 20, 19, 20, that's good. And start over here in the red section and then push into the other areas. And this should push that selection into that bit of sky. And it should give us a nice selection there. Just kind of push that through like that. You know, all the way down. And there we go. That takes care of that section. Output to selection. That's good. Choose OK. Just scroll back out so that fits. Now when I'm scrolling my window like this, I have a wheel on my mouse. And up here under Edit and Preferences. And in general, that's a setting right over here. Zoom with scroll wheel. Really useful to have that set up. OK, now that we have our selection, let's just hit this button right there. This is the Add Layer Mask button. And there we go. Good selection in there. And there it is. We've now changed the background on this person real easy, real fast, just using that Subject Select to make that selection. You can do the same exact thing without Subject Select. It just takes longer to go in here and make a real careful selection and then go from there. But it's, as you can see, fairly easy, fairly straightforward. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about how to use Photoshop Elements, I have a complete training course for this. I actually have different versions for the different versions of Photoshop Elements. And it covers everything, all the tools, all the menus, all the panels, everything, including the organizer. And I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. I'm doing new videos all the time and I'll see you next time.